Turning to the Middle East, Israeli leaders recently reached out to their Palestinian counterparts ahead of a Muslim observance, wishing them happy holidays. And with that greeting, they called on the Palestinian Authority to combat rising terrorism and violence. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl brings us that story from Jerusalem. The holiday outreach followed a surprise attack when Palestinian terrorists launched two rockets from Janine for the first time in 18 years, a claim later refuted by Hamas. Although the rockets fell short of their target, it's just the latest example of violence in the northern West Bank, part of the area the Bible calls Judea and Samaria. During a visit to northern Samaria, Likud Knesset member Danny Danone said the current situation makes Israel look weak to its enemies and that there must be a move to crush the terrorist infrastructure before it's too late. Residents of the area of Samaria are going through a difficult time with relentless terror attacks by Palestinian terrorists. There's no choice. We must react with a military operation in order to strike the terror cells. While standing next to the widow of Meir Tamari, a terror victim buried on his 32nd birthday, Danone assured the crowd of his belief that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will respond. I hope that very soon we'll see the IDF operating inside the villages. We'll see these checkpoints return to the place where they murdered a Jew at the hands of a Palestinian that still hasn't been caught. And this way, we can relay a very clear message of who is the landlord here in the land of Israel. Israeli President Isaac Herzog spoke with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas ahead of the upcoming Muslim Feast of the Sacrifice that marks Abraham's willingness to sacrifice Ishmael, not Isaac. The holiday message included a desire for cooperation, urging PA leaders to step up and fight terrorism. There's been a basically kind of terrorist infestation in the northern West Bank, which is mostly uh, members of Palestinian Islamic Jihad and, and others from Hamas and disgruntled members of the Fatah. Middle East analyst Seth Fransman says this current wave is made up of men mostly born some 20 years ago following the second intifada. Their anger is bolstered by a huge supply of weapons flooding the area, many likely paid for and smuggled in by Iran. You have basically all the bad elements you don't want in one place. He adds, while this isn't new to Israel, the weakness and breakdown of the PA presents a unique problem. It always faces terrorist uh, groups. But the, the presence of large numbers of weapons in Janin and the failure of the Palestinian Authority, which is a U.S. and Western-backed institution, to control Janin, which is underneath its own territory, is the main contributing factor. Not having authorities control the city, not having police or anyone there, allows the armed men to do whatever they want. For at least a year, Israel has used armed raids to root out terrorists, but it hasn't proved to be enough. I think the Palestinian Authority has to be able to control most of its cities better. That means I think the United States and others that deal with the Palestinian Authority need to take this much more seriously. Fransman says the focus should be to take away the guns, stop the smuggling, and prosecute those trading in illegal firearms. That could allow Israel to then precisely target those behind the attacks. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.